I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, well, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt. You and... met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> That must have been interesting, to say that... Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkin so that he'd tell me how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about... I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the... Why am I not surprised? I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, well, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt You and... met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say that... Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkin so that he'd tell me how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. 
Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting Evelio. you. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Safe travels, my young friends. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. 
They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is great news indeed. Young, young friend, friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going.
Sometimes it seems all right. It's the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. yourself though. Revelia. Such a wee bairn and a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. yourself though Lumos Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Ugh. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Revenia. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? 
door's always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by. will be safe with me till they're so doors always open you be sure to stop by soon does it get any more cozy than hogsmeade Lumos. Pavelio.
Who lived here, I wonder? Revelia. Revelio. Here's a pleasant surprise. Tricky after all, Merlin. Rebellion. they've got protection charms. Wait for you go poking about the tracks of a trailer. Need to let his trail stop smouldering. But find some good treasures. Yes, you can. I once found a copper pot or add a real gem in it. Have a picture, I reckon.
they teach the dog. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crackcroft. what you've done to helpless beasts. Oh. Revelio. Revelio. I didn't always like a polite battle.
tricky little cake slapper. Venia. Finish 
must be stopped. <laughs> This place is... It fiends. Revelia. Lumos. Revelia. Lumos.
Cosmos. Revelio. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Guardium Leviosa here in the green room. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! 
I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. On another adventure, are we? Can you explain why I have What are you doing out here? 
challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. All in the wrist. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Let's play a summoner's court. I knew you'd come round. Ready to go? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's court. The ever-changing game. <laughs> Try to beat that. Lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. All in the wrist. I'll let you have that one. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the prac. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Seem worse. Nothing to it. Eh, <laughs> lucky shot.
all in the wrist. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go? I'm game for another. Summoner's Court. The ever changing game. Try to be that. That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. I'll let you have that one. All in the wrist. <laughs> Missed the mark a bit on that one. I'm gay. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. One for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. What are you up to now? Let's play. I knew you'd come round. Ready? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. One for the ages. Akio. Akio. 
try to beat that. Let's play Summoner's Court. I knew you'd come round. Ready to go? I'm in. Let's do it. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Nothing to it. I'm in. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. one for the ages. All in the wrist. Try to beat that. Yeah. Eh, lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practising and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed.
how would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio! Pavelio. Please to see Arn has his belongings back. Run, run. Self would be proud.
Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wigan Weld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. I shall hope to do business with you again. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. It's been a pleasure. Rebellion. Get on with those tasks. 